So a hard pacemaker fires 72 times a minute. Each time a 25 nanofarad capacitor is charged by a battery in series with the resistor to 0.63 of its full voltage. What is the value of the resistance? <coughs> All right, so what they're telling you is here's an RC circuit. Okay, so here's the resistance, here's that. Okay, so essentially we've seen this circuit. Um, uh. Okay, so here's how this functions essentially. Well, one way of you close the switch, you charge the capacitor, you charge it to 0.63 times its maximum value, and then it discharges through the heart, fires the heart. Okay, so that's the pacemaker. So 72 times a minute, you're fire, firing a voltage at the heart to make sure that to help it start beating. That's what the pacemaker does, okay? Now, with the pacemaker, here's the problem. This circuit is set up where you're beating 72 times a minute. With a healthy heart, you go jogging, your heart paces accordingly. You jog fast, your heart will beat 100 times a minute, 120 times a minute, okay? You can't do that with the pacemaker, okay? Anyway, that's a different issue, so we're not worried about that. Okay, 72 times a minute, so one minute is, let's see how the time between firing, seven, uh, a minute is 60 seconds, 72, so 60 divided by 72, so, okay, 0.83 seconds, okay. So what we are finding is, what this is telling us is, when you close this, in 0.83 seconds, the capacitor is charging to 0.63 times its maximum value, okay? So that's what this is telling us. And you can check your notes. Uh, this is uh, uh, C times V, one minus E minus T, RC. This is how it charges, the capacitor charges, okay? So, uh, at t equal to infinity, this term would be zero. This is the maximum charge. So, what the problem is saying is in 0.83 seconds, in 0.83 seconds, this charge is 0.632 times the maximum charge, okay? So, what we are saying is that t equal to 0.83 seconds, QT is 0.632 times the maximum charge. Okay? So we are going to substitute that. Let me go to a new page. So T equal to 0.83 seconds. 0.632 CV equal to CV 1 minus E to the power minus 0.83 divided by RC, where R, C is 25 nanofarads, and R is that, okay, so, so let's just, so there's no confusion, this is R, okay, and, um, Anyway, you'll, uh, so, what are we doing? I guess, so that cancels 0.632 equal to 1 minus e to the power minus 0.83 divided by RC. e to the power minus 0.83 divided by RC is 1 minus 
three, two. Okay, and then how do you solve this? Uh, you take the natural log of both sides, natural log. Well, I'll do it on a new page. Okay, so this natural log of this these two undo each other so to speak so you get minus 0.83 RC equal to essentially minus 1 so RC is 0.83 divided by 0 0.99 0.84 R is 0.84 divided by C This is in seconds, so twenty five nanofarads. And this thing works out to 33.5 mega ohms. Yep. Your computer is on 15 seconds. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I know. So we are we are done with that problem, right? Okay. Let's stop this thing.